Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Mind Magic 3, Shadow of Death. Today we start scenario number 4 of the final campaign and we'll be playing as Gem and Clancy. The scenario is called Final Peace. We need to kill Lord Fayette to win the scenario. And we'll be playing on Impossible Difficulty. We can choose between 30 Grand Elves, a Homestead and a Scroll of Destroy Undead. From these three options, the 30 Grand Elves is the best. Let's begin. When I went to tell Lord Fayette about Sandro tricking me, I learned he left on a mission into Deja while I was searching for the boots and had not yet returned. So I scribed for Lord Fayette and discovered his mission had gone horribly wrong. He had been killed by the necromancers and and resurrected as a death knight. Curse all necromancers! There is one last service I can do for my lord. I will grant his soul final peace by destroying the undead body chaining it to this world. I owe him that much. Okay. Lord Fayette has been turned into a death knight while on a secret mission into Deja. Apparently, he was to meet secretly with one of the Dejan border lords, but something went wrong. I am determined to grant his soul final peace by destroying his undead body. Clancy volunteered to help me. We have slipped over the border into no man's land between Avli and Deja. From here, we'll build our forces and push into Deja itself. All right. And as you can see, we have a little problem here. We have Clancy, level 25 ranger, but uh, we do not have Gem. We have Alagar, or potentially some other people, instead of Gem. <laughs> we have Gem's skills, but uh, not Gem herself. We are also missing those 30 Grand Elves. And if you took something else, uh, let's say the scroll of destroy undead you would be missing that as well the only thing that's currently working for me is to start with the homestead so i looked it up in the forums on the internet and it is an actual bug uh, it shouldn't happen for you uh, it happened for me because i have hired gem in one of the previous campaigns not in her campaign, but I believe in Jellius' campaign or one of the other campaigns. I don't remember which one. And if you do that, Jem will not be hired here. She will be replaced by a random druid, either Alagar or Coronius or Melodia and things like that. And uh, yeah, it will not be cool. Not because of gem, actually, but because you can't get those 30 Grand Elves, which is terrible, terrible. And, um, yeah, uh, what you can do is play as Alagar or any other hero, and if you win and then make it to the other scenarios, gem will return, but she will return as level 1. So she will have just basic wisdom and, I believe, basic first aid next time we see her. So giving her any spells or giving this guy any spells above level 3 also makes no sense. They will not keep it, which is really sad. So we actually will have very difficult time to win if we played like that, uh, because we can't get the most important uh, starting uh, army and we'll also not have all the nice stuff that uh, Jem brings with her. But uh, to offset that, uh, what I will do is I will try to use this uh, warrior's tomb here and restart several times until I get something sweet in here. So you can just uh, go inside and find, let's say, plus four uh, knowledge, which is nice. But... Uh, Besides treasure class artifacts, you can find anything in here. You can find relics as well. And I have a couple of saves uh, prepared here already. It doesn't take much and I have a 
Titan Squares already found. I have, uh, let's say, Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment found right there. Uh, I have uh, Tome of Earth Magic, uh, Orb of Vulnerability, Thunder Helmet, and so on and so forth. So you can you can really find a lot there. Uh, option one is you can just click on restart, just like I've showed you before. That does cycle through a lot of these things, so you can now have a look and now we have a red dragon flame tongue but if you want uh, the really good things you'll need to uh, reload from um, the previous save like over here and and do this and uh, and start like that and 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 do do a complete restart because that resets the random seed used for random number generation a little bit better. Just by restarting here, it does cycle through a lot of various options, but not through all of them. So you need to uh, reload properly to get access to a lot more options. I can't guarantee you can get anything, but as I've demonstrated uh, with the uh, five uh, relics there, you can get a lot of good stuff, right? So that's uh, one thing, and as you can see, these druids here uh, alternate, they vary. And uh, just to um, show you, uh, let, me, let me use this cheat to go forward. Uh, I think I need to go forward only two, ep two scenarios. And here we have Gem and uh, Jellu again. And this time we have her, see? But she starts as level 1. So that's going to be a, a real problem, right? She does start with uh, some nice spells up to level 3, of course, because she's only basic wisdom. But you'll have to level her up all the way again. So let me show you the game plan as well. Um, well, the question is also for you, which one of these artifacts, if you could choose, would you start with? It's a very good question. You know, I mean, the Tome of Earth and the Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment seem to be the most obvious ones, but the Quiras does increase your potency a lot, and you already have some spells which you can use. Uh, the Orb of Vulnerability is an interesting one, because you will be facing one or two Black Dragon um, breaks be before you can get to the necromancers so that's also a very nice choice um, i don't know i mean the helm with just the magic arrow and the uh, lightning bolt that the two heroes bring with them is more than enough and uh, it jump starts uh, uh, from the very beginning very quickly actually it does a better job than than the Tome of Earth, but Tome of Earth is probably better in the middle of the game, where you can resurrect your troops, where you can town portal, where you can maybe summon Earth Elementals and things like that, so that you can get easily through those dragons maybe, and, and, and some things like that. So I think I'll go with the Tome of Earth, although Helm would be also a superb option. Okay, so let me load that and uh, type in uh, the the cheats, right? Well, before that, actually, also, um, I wanted to say that these guys start with seven of their slots uh, already predefined. You can only roll the last one. Uh, same on gem here. You can only roll the last one. Everything else is already predefined for you. But you get uh, Earth Magic on one, Air Magic on the second hero, and you get Tactics on both, which is extremely useful, extremely useful. So, yeah, that's nice. And now let's uh, finally uh, talk a little bit about how we will approach this map, okay? Alright, so... Uh, once you get your artifact, then you should move and try to uh, probably first flag some 
uh, sawmills and ore pits so that you can build a mage guild and get let's say mass slow because gem will have uh, uh, mass earth magic of course uh, as a starting skill and she will also have um, lightning bolt for a lot of uh, mana and a lot of damage with tactics so you can get uh, a lot of things done very early and after you do that then you probably meet up with uh, Clancy who will have the book of earth um, can probably go through whatever spawns here on these two places and go to her and then I'm not really sure probably a good idea to flag everything maybe get a couple of uh, sharpshooters from the treetop tower you know go after hydras or whatever spawns there uh, go into the underground here get another gold mine things like that whatever you can i mean if there are archangels or cyclope kings it might be difficult but um, you don't have to take everything just take something and um, after that uh, once you have uh, an army to survive dragons you should go and challenge them you will have several dragons there so it will be minimum five potentially more and on second or third week it could be you know even a pack potentially and as you can see even here for example you have more black dragons uh, afterwards and here is a cursed ground so you can't use uh, spells higher than level one over there so pay attention to that as well but after you do that you should go and kill your opponents here one two and uh, third town there should not be such a big issue uh, there is no ashlyn it's isra and um, charna actually i don't know if uh, if they are different all the time but i haven't seen ashlyn so you shouldn't have a big problem with that and then you need the light blue key master stand and i think uh, the green one here and the red one there and actually only one of them not sure which one and then yeah the blue one and then you can go here and defeat lord fayette that's all you need to do he does have a good army so you do need a lot of uh, army yourself but uh, with good spells and a decent ish army it shouldn't be all that difficult of course i would recommend to learn all the spells you can in here we will not be able to do so only up to level three because of the mentioned bug okay and i think now i just um, reload uh, and uh, we'll see each other in a moment and we're back so let's do this uh, we have clancy with the tome of earth magic expert ballistics and we have a gem aka alagar with um, expert diplomacy and charm of mana uh, she has a lightning bolt and he has um, a magic arrow doing decent enough damage but he also has the book so what we will do is um, go here and uh, take the centaurs and maybe disband these guys I'm not so sure about that let's not do that just yet but we can do something here definitely so hire some of them no not really let's go and since you will be going for the ore pit uh, Alagar will go for the sawmill and we can also take the crypt so let's do that and we can totally use all of this looks like we will lose some people but it's not the end of the world lightning bolt on them as well and the rest should be relatively easy uh, you can go 
and not reach anybody yet. Okay. Defend. Do I do one more lightning bolt? Yeah, let's do one more. Okay, you have 20. Excellent. So you should be able to hit him and take the retaliation. And um, these guys can probably kill the rest. Excellent. Lost only one, but we get some money for it, which is good. Come here and come over there next. Centaurs like that, that's all right. We do not have any resources, so just end the turn. And let's go here now. This looks doable. Ouch. Okay, so... That looks like we have a lot of them here. Interesting. I'm not sure. Six, four, yeah. That's kinda. Kinda stupid. I don't know, 70 or 125. I guess I can do the meteor shower here. I would prefer them to be over there so they can hit three stacks at the same time and I do want to keep my mana in check so I'll try to fight with those 34 guys if possible if possible so one goes there you can defend uh, we can use a little bit more mana maybe you know do something like shield on these guys and uh, see what we can do. So one of you will take the retaliation. Second guy will move away. You can stay right here. And you can stay right here. That was not expected. The retaliation was taken here. Excellent. Another four, almost. And this guy goes down. Let's block them a little bit more even. Defend. Wait for it. Okay, that was unexpected as well. Hmm. 29 mana. No, that's, that's fine. Let's go here. And here. And defend. Try to hit them like this. Wait for it. Cool. And take the retail. Finish. Excellent. Take everything you can and go out. Now, I think we still cannot build the Mage Guild, so let's go try to fight here. I do not wish to retreat. I wish to fight. Mm, this is also impressive impressive one two three one here and we have only these things so uh, okay let's start this is gonna cost a lot of mana but uh, that's what we'll have to do you can defend here you can defend here, right? And we start killing more of them. Okay. 16, so you can totally take the retaliation. And you can wait. Defend. Defend. You can kill one, excellent. And lightning, kill one, ouch, kill one more, move here, move here, move there, nice, 
17, 23. Okay, there and there, excellent. I think we can even hit them with you. Perfect, lost only one. And now we can do this and go probably... Probably here. I think what I will do is I will get rid of them. So that I can take the stables and go into Marishan. And in Marishan we need a mage guild, right? Yes, and in this town, nothing yet. Next turn. We located two Rampart castles. Clancy and I will base each base out of one, build our forces and castles, and then combine our forces to push into Deja. From my scrying, I know the death knight we are looking for is in this area of Deja. Curse them. We will grant you final peace, Lord Fayette. I promise. Yeah, so see, they do want us to build up the towns and then attack. And that's a problem on impossible difficulty. Uh, especially if you don't have your starting units. So yeah, I need to save here. Let's save there. Because I don't know if I can reach back. I can reach back. Excellent. So we do have mass slow. We do have mass haste. We have mass cure. Nice magic arrow, and we'll hire these troops and get to work. Uh, for now, you will try to go up and uh, fight several trolls. Is that something we want to do? I guess it is something we want to do. Let's try it. Okay, we can win, and maybe they can nicely group for a meteor shower or something. So let's put uh, you over here. Uh, this guy and this guy over there, and even one more. And... Uh, something like that. Let's see if they group. Huh, they don't want to defend. Now they did defend. Now they did as well. So 1-1, one, 2-2-1, one, two, two, one, doesn't matter. So Meteor Shower, these three. Or these three. Think like that. Defend. And you go back. Excellent. One dies, but we kill two more, just like that. And now the only thing that remains is to finish them with... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll even do that. Finish them with uh, the remaining magic. Okay, now we do not need the Dwarf, I think. And let's continue... Which way? We need to continue this way so that I can give her the... The book, right? She needs to replenish mana. I'll do the Town Hall. Does that make sense? It does make sense. The sooner the better. Replenishing? Replenishing, yes. Okay, next turn. I think we can even save as a good save here. Uh, we only need to make it through the Master Genies and we should be fine afterwards. Um, the question is, do I? what do I do against Master Genies. I think I'll slow them down and um, and try not to use too many troops, right? We still need uh, to build 
a homestead. Mage guild for the second hero wouldn't be bad, but homestead first. So how about we how about we try to just do it with this guy these guys? What do you think? I think it's possible. Going for the stone golems though. Might be a preferred option. Because I do need that as well. However, going here. Let's go there. I do not want to retreat. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Enjoy my slow. Oh, this guy. This guy's also slowed. Okay. So you here, you here, you here. Okay. And now wait. And now we have also magic arrows. 100 damage on you guys is enough. They have magic mirror. They have only slow. They have only slow. Good. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. That they have anti-magic, but we will be able to deal with them as well. Let's go after these guys now. Perfect. Well, kinda. Wait. Wait. Ouch. Defend. Okay, so this guy has magic mirror, anti magic. This guy has nothing. This guy has something nasty. Let's take out the anti magic guy. And let's take out this guy. Magic mirror. <laughs> okay, that was not supposed to happen. That was not supposed to happen. Come on. Let's try again. Yeah, we really need to pay attention to those magic mirrors. They are super dangerous. Seems like they are getting the same kind of stuff again. So, RNG at its best. Okay. And now... This one doesn't have anything. Kill. Everybody waits. So, this one is a big problem. This one, there's two of them. Ouch. And let's start here again. And defend, defend. Alright. Now, somebody without magic mirror, right? I think this one. Finish them. Protect. Come on. That was nasty. Nothing and protection. So let's kill the one without the protection. How did you not die? Okay. Well, that's a better result, isn't it? Now we have still 65 mana. So we need to go somewhere. We can either go for the third town. Or we can go for that, or we can go for many other things. Um, I kind of don't know. Kind of don't know what to do. So we definitely want her to replenish mana. Although we also still have more than enough. 
getting the money from here would be very beneficial. So I guess what we will do is... Uh, he needs army, otherwise he does not stand a chance. And she can do with just summoning magic. With seven power, probably. So... One step too short, eh? One step too short. Well, in that case, move a little bit. There's our dragon. Uh, give her the book and stuff, and you give him all the army. He will take the army and go fight elsewhere, probably there for for wood, or maybe even here in the windmill. Oh, and there, of course, for the homestead. And you return back and get some army here. Yes, yes, that's it, right? Next turn. So we can build a town hall. Is that the correct approach? I think it is. We need to prioritize uh, money and we still can go for level for day seven for the homestead here. So you need to also hire in this town and we can't hire out completely. That's rather sad. That is rather sad. I will not take them. I will take like a couple. See if that helps. I can either go for the Dwarven Treasury or I can go here. And I don't think I need so much ore, so let's go straight for the money. And you... Day 6. I do need that homestead. The army from that homestead. So you might as well just wait there. Day 6 there, day 7 there. Probably worth it. Yeah, let's stay. I overheard some of my troops talking about my eyes. It was amusing. Apparently they think the blue around my eyes is some sort of war paint. I suppose they would be disappointed if I were to tell them it's merely part of being a druid. I magic my face that way in a ceremony, honoring someone... Honoring something... Some small creature had done for me, which in... My case was when the raccoons washed my food in the water. Wow. <laughs> the raccoon's gesture may not have been a monumental gift, but I treasure the memory. Okay, let's hire them now. Go back. And with this army, we should be able to do... decently. Now this, however may turn out to be a big mistake. We do have Town Portal, which I should have used, by the way. I don't know why I didn't use the freaking Town Portal. Was it here? No. Where was it? Here? No. <laughs> was it there? OMG. I guess we do the fight again. Because, yeah, she can uh, she can teleport and save mana and, and everything. That's, uh, that's totally a good thing to do. 
You know, we do need to make these two weeks as efficient as possible. With the 30 Grandels, I wouldn't have to care too much. But without them, it's another story, right? Yeah, without them, it's another story. So let's go have a look again. Sorry about that. Let's come here. Don't want to retreat. Uh, I do want to... Maybe... Lure them down a little bit. See, that's also not so bad. Wait, and now... One, two, three, four. Something like this. And now we can start... Uh, Killing them all. This one needs to go down. They have this uh, nasty spell on them. You can wait. Now they have magic mirror that's even more nasty. Maybe I can... Now let's just uh, let's just wait. So you have protection from water. That's not cool. Shall we risk it? How much? Uh... Yeah, we shouldn't have risked it. <laughs> and it goes to the biggest stack. Come on, you have five stacks to choose from, and the the chance that the magic mirror triggers is how much? Twenty percent? Forty percent? Twenty percent? I don't know. It's low. Why does it? Why does it do that? Maybe I should... Um, actually bring one closer to me. Maybe that's what we should do. Because now I can attack them, right? And I can attack... That's protection from something. That's a protection from something. So <laughs> that is really not good. How do you manage to do... And he has a protection as well. What the heck, people? Now I need to do it like this. And they may kill... More than one, although I do have good stats. So let's kill one like this. And they still kill one of me. Okay. Even bless. Ouch. And this. Are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? So this one has anti magic. This one has crazy stuff. Wow. Holy moly! Wait a moment, why are they not slowed? Did I not slow them down? Did I, did I mess it up again? How can you mess it up so many times? <laughs> How can one mess up so many times? Come closer there, okay? Haste, haste. Would you believe that? Slow you down. And now we'll wait. I will not even protect anybody. And this guy will come closer. This guy does not have protection. This guy does not have protection. So let's start with him. This one needs to die as well. Okay, that sucks, but maybe we can make it better, like this. So this one has uh, good stuff on him, this one has good stuff on him. Which one do we go for first? I guess I'll try to magic arrow this guy and keep my guys alive a little bit longer. And now he has protection. 
that's not what I wanted to see. Now we have to use lightning bolt on him. But still everything kinda nice. Still everything kinda nice. Go away. And now slow. He has protection. 40. 100. That should work. Nice. And that's it, isn't it? I think that's it. We did it! Ha! <laughs> Finally! Alright, so we need about, I don't know, 300 or so to teleport and we want to end in the town, I believe. So, let me just... Uh, Save that, so that we do keep the 300. One more. One more. That's about right. Clancy. You can... Just keep the... We can split also 50-50. It's not like he's powerless. Let's split 50-50. This way we are sure that we can do something. Go to Marishen. Thank you very much. Replenish your mana. And you need to go and hire those troops over there. Or first go there and fight with 28 and no mana. No, I think you should go here and stay there, hire them next turn, probably. Probably. So no homestead, we could do a mage guild. Next turn. All right. So still all fine, I would say. Now we have good army, good spells, good stats. Only took us half an hour to get to this stage. We can go all the way there. And I think that's the thing we should do, even with the full army in one stack like this. I do not want to retreat. I just want to summon some earth elementals. Move here, wait for it, and start killing them. Oh no, fine. Go away, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, and kill the five, and then run away. And you can start killing the rest. I think you should survive relatively easily, right? It cost us how much? 20 mana. Not bad. Not bad. They do get a lot of morale. <laughs> I have to give them that. Okay, lost six, but 5,000 gold is a very important, very, very important. For that, we can hire all of them and get back to town. We can also teleport back here to Marishen, right? There's nothing else I need to do here. So let's go back to Marishen. Thank you very much. And we can... Start building the homestead. Uh, so all three of them here at Warren Cottage. We do need the Enchanted Spring to be first against multiple enemies. I think eventually. So at least one Enchanted Spring would be nice. We do not have a town hall here for some reason. Why do we not have a town hall there? Oops. 
That was a misplay. That was a misplay. Nevertheless, we are fine as it is. And I think we have heard this story already. Okay, so now... Enchanted Spring in this town, maybe? So that... Uh, but he doesn't have uh, mass slow. He may have mass. I would like to do this. Can I get wood somewhere? I probably can't. Don't need this unless I want Citadel, which I do want. Hmm. But I do want to upgrade the homestead as well. Let's go for the Enchanted Spring. That's an investment into future. And over here, a Citadel is not a good idea. Dendroid Arches, though, might be a good idea. Because those will help when we go for the... For the dragons, right? I do need to get more money. So I need to go for, maybe for that... Uh, yeah, I need to go for that um, gold mine. I don't know how does this look, but I think I should keep these guys at home. No, no, I'll need them. Okay, we don't need to fight them. Let's have a look. Royal Griffins, not the best. But not the worst either. Let's see. Okay, we were able to win, which is always a good sign. You can stay right where you are. That was not a good idea, looks like it. 3 times 25 is 75. Mm. Let's kill the 2 stack and a 2 stack. A 3 stack and protect them and protect more. Nice. Now another two stack. Another two stack. I should have actually done uh oh, fine. Yeah, that will do. Wait and finish. Excellent. That that was amazingly good, okay? Worth a save. <laughs> Now with these 22 guys, I will probably go all the way here. What are the guards there? Ooh, several rocks. Rocks are scary. Let's try to... Oops. Let's just try to not die. How did... Okay, fine. 60. You can't do that much damage, so just defend. Go here and go here. And you guys can lure them to this side. Now they are nicely positioned for you to do magic. Two, two, huh. So I can do either this or I can again summon elementals. 20, 12, I think summoning one stack of elementals actually will take care of all the problems. Not absolutely sure about it, but it might.
Yeah, and I could totally spend a lot more mana. But let's see how well these guys do, okay? They do more than well. Yeah, they do more than well. Absolutely. Stay where you are. Defend, defend, go there. You kill this guy. That's how we like it. All right, could have been worse. And there are Archangels here, okay. But um, I do need the gold mines, so we need to go even against Archangels. Hopefully we can somehow survive. It would be not nice if we couldn't. Let's do the Dendroid Archers as well. Next turn. All right, so what's next? Dendroid Arch is there, or upgraded homestead already, Mage Guild, day seven, no. So Dendroid Arches, it is on day seven. And over here, nothing else. That's all we could do. Now, the question is, do I go and try for the treetop tower? Can I even get there is the question. And the answer is probably, Without mana, no. So you need to go here, or maybe first here, to get more troops. And then build a mage guild or something, and then we'll see. Okay. It's getting... Uh, it's getting interesting, isn't it? Few archangels. Well, here goes nothing. Three. Ouch. If he kills him. Yeah, they can get to me no matter what. That's the problem. <laughs> I think we die. Oh, they didn't. Excellent. So what I can do is slow them down, or I can... That will not help. Or I can do Meteor Shower. That's 250, and it does exactly enough. Good. And now 250, and that's it. Oh, really? How much do you do? 18. And f you need to do 15 minimum. Oh, this, this will be so close. Wait for it. Let's do one damage with each first. And now you need to roll... Oh no, 23 left? Oh no, I miscalculated that. I have miscalculated it. No. No. Dang it. Fine. Fine. Do I need to go there? What is there? I think there are gems over there. I kind of need to teleport again. Do I care about the gems? I do not care about the gems. I do care about this, I think. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember what was there. Let's go here and have a look. Necklace of Swiftness wouldn't be bad. 
this also wouldn't be bad, but we, we can't afford it anyway. So we can either build a mage guild here. Does that make sense? Probably not. Although it would help. If I go there and then teleport, does that help anybody? I guess it does. But being here and going there, and there's a gold mine as well, right? So let's go to Fortune Keep like this and um, build a mage guild. We get uh, <laughs> summon boat, okay, shield, good. And nothing else. I think this is the quickest unit. Yes. Yes. All right. So we continue. All dwellings increase population. And now we need to do something about these guys. And then go there, then go down. We do get 3,000 per day now. Uh, we might start building up uh, city halls. Will that be of any importance to us? I think not. I think more important will be to upgrade the homestead, to upgrade the dendroid arches, to upgrade everything here. Because we need marketplaces and blacksmiths and, and a city hall for 5,000. So that's going to be a week's investment. Instead, let's upgrade the homestead over here. And in this town, maybe something else. Upgrade the... don't know. We'll see. So with 14 of them, you should be fine. You should still be very much fine against all of these. But um, I think I'll give you more just in case we want to fight differently. Yeah, let's have a look. So there are... Hmm, There are some bad guys there. Let's slow them down. And I think, again, the most mana efficient way is to summon Earth Elementals, isn't it? Yeah, I honestly think summoning the Elementals is the most efficient way. It's only 20, you know, everything else costs way much more. Go down, try to kill everything in your path. Start like this. No, they are still going there. Okay. Well, that sucks. But we can save a little bit of our troops. Something like this. Can wait. And they go back. Excellent. Oh, excellent. That's what we like. But we can even do this now. Go back. And this is just a formality now, okay? The top guy... 
and the bottom guy. Excellent. The sharpshooters. Do I need them? Is the question. And the answer is I don't know. But to flag all this, I may need to... I may need your help. Let's have a look around. Oh, there's, there's the crystal, which I may need for upgrades. Next turn. In this town... I think... I think even the dwarf cottage... We need all the meat we can get, right? Including these dwarves. Yes. So 1500, not bad, we'll get there as well. Several Hydras. Hydras are not a problem. Because we can simply slow them down and send... Uh, Send the big guys after them, right? Yet again. Okay, that did work, I think. One, two, three. And let's start killing them, shall we? Okay, I will be teleporting from here, won't I? So, why don't we also do this to make things quicker? Okay. Yeah, that's it. Just a moment. I mean, mass slow on itself with a couple of um, shooters would be totally enough. But as I said before already, we do not have those 30 shooters and thus can't do much about it. Yeah, so I would also like to do this, maybe. So maybe we stay here one more day. Yeah, we stay here, stay here one more day for that, and you can um, you can take them, take this. Don't care about the rest. Sixteen hundred for the sharpshooters, and they will be targeted by the black dragons immediately. So maybe I take them off, you know, as backup after the black dragons are defeated. Saplings would be nice. Now we have 4,000 per week. That's good. That's, that's what we want. Okay, 11 is a little bit too much. They are unupgraded, so let's just start the combat. Slow them down, see what happens. Maybe here we don't even have to do much. Kinda. Yeah, that works. Okay. Everybody waits. Like this. Everybody waits. And like that. Yay!
Okay, and now we can teleport back. So... I think we've done everything on this part. I am not interested in that. I am interested in this. I'm not interested... Okay. I think I go back to Marishan. Let's go there. With you, now we have 9,000. 9,000. Still... Still not enough to... To take them. They in, in the grand scheme of matters they will not matter. I should have done the imp cache as well. But first we need to upgrade it spring and one quick unit so that we are as quick as possible next turn and then on this side we do not need the sulfur I think we are slowly going after these guys after we after we hire out I think we'll we'll do the do that yeah by the end of the second week I will attack the black dragons that's now a given here I will uh, just buy unupgraded units. Correct. All of them and upgrade them in the second town. All these three need to be upgraded. Yep, that's pretty much it. I received a message from Lord Fayette's wife today. She told me she had discovered the purpose of her husband's secret mission. Apparently, he was trying to discover information about what happened to his neighbor. Lord Falorel. Falorel. Uh, Lord Falorel was found dead by a ranger named Jellu, but the corpse was that of a vampire. It's unclear what happened. Had Falorel been replaced by a vampire? Was the real Falorel captured and turned into a vampire? Or was something else going on? And who killed the vampire? Hmm. One other question. Why was a Dacian border lord willing to talk to Lord Fayette about this? Well, we do not know and we do not care for now. <laughs> for now. In this town, let's upgrade the stables first. How much? A thousand, I'll take it. And uh, we just take all of them and go, go this way again, right? 90 mana. We will need five wood and some money and that's it. Okay, I think we are fine. Let's go this way. Uh, save as a good save. I think we still can call this a good save. And here we go. Okay, that's a clear case for Maslow. Just uh, wait on everybody. And 4 times 40 is 160, you cannot kill enough. That's a little bit of a surprise, so we'll need some magic. But you can kill 3, right? That's 120, yeah, you should be able to almost kill 3. So, let's wait for that. Over here, that looks like a good idea. If they group, if they don't, 100 and they are 120. Hmm. Hmm. So. <laughs> Welcome, old friend. Welcome back. 120. I will risk it and I shouldn't have. 3 HP remained, okay. Yeah, just stay there. Go back. And now they will return for him and everything will be 
a-okay. Defend there, wait, 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 wait. Maybe you can turn around. No? Come on, guys. What, uh, what kind of uh, cooperation is this? Okay, now it should be still not. Thank you. Okay, but now, now it's clear what they do, right? Perfect. Continue down here. This is irrelevant. Taking the town would be relevant, but we don't have enough movement for that. Minotaur Kings for a scholar. Sure. Okay. Do you think we can deal with them without summoning? 2 times 50 is 100. Well, I believe in you. Okay, I believe in you. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, this is so, so juicy. I couldn't resist, okay? It was a waste of mana and this was also not great. But uh, I could not resist. Yeah, we lost three of them for nothing. That was, that was bad. Just magic arrow them. All right. This guy now with my new troops. You can go here, right? Right. Gems, maybe, but uh, more importantly, them get a defense skill. I mean, attack would have been a lot better. I, I will not deny that. But we are still fine. Do I need more wood? I likely do. But it's day 5 already. I need to attack on day 7. So let's uh, take care of this small issue here. Slow and we have enough for the guys that we need to summon. Let's see where they will be summoned. There, that's fine. Okay. 125. We can kill one if need be. All right, one. Oh, doesn't even kill all of them. And there's no retaliation. Ooh, this might be more dangerous than I thought. So 21, we need to leave uh, 12, right? I can still spend a bit. Not enough for Meteor Shower. Enough for two Magic Arrows, though. So let's do one magic arrow down here. Uh, we'll see about the other one. So 50, 110, 110. Maybe I just do this and try to kill both. Yes. No, they still go back. Dang it. Not very cool, I have to say. Not very cool. What's the chance I will actually kill them? Small. 
15 left. Kill them. Hmm. I do not like it. Stop her. Stop them. Wait. Kill. Wait, wait, wait. Go up. Kill them. And this is it. This is it. Okay. Took a lot more than... I anticipate it, but they are level 6 creatures, so it is kind of understandable. No way. Really. Excellent. Only one lost. Now over here I could build another mage guild. Not sure if that helps anybody. I have still a thousand, so probably going for this pack would still make sense. Although if it's 19, I don't know. Yeah, let's go to fortune keep. Buy the army there and then teleport here, upgrade. And then go for the, yeah. Let's go, let's go like that. Fortune keep. Here we go. All right. Then uh, the question is, how much will we be able to buy? We will have 16,000 and this costs 9,000. So I won't be able to buy everything from both towns. 15, 6, 29, 15, and we still need to upgrade. So I'll only buy, yeah, we'll, we'll see what I will buy. But I will have one more day with 4,000, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough decision. We'll see about it. I do need to then go after them immediately. Okay, so in this town, uh, do I want to upgrade these guys? I potentially don't need to. I don't know what are the differences between all of these, you know, how, how much better they are. I think they still keep 20 health. These guys probably go from 55 to 65 though, so that might be a, a big improvement, but they will die eventually anyway. And I do have tactics. So let's leave it as it is. In this town, a town hall later, a tavern now. Let's build a tavern. Actually, we could hire Solmir. <laughs> But not just yet. Okay. That's cool. Next turn. And it looks like we are overtime. A lot overtime. Wow. I totally, I totally didn't realize that. So let's go and do a 48 and save. Sorry about uh, going over. When we come back, we'll hire a lot from this town, teleport here, upgrade what we can, move to the break, and on day seven, uh, we'll bring the remaining army, maybe go for the Quiet Eye of the Dragon, not sure yet, and then challenge the dragons. That's, uh, that's the idea, at least. For now, however, I thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.